Hello, colleague. My research title is "Drawn Handicraft in the Basa Area: The Gendered Cultural Significance of Mommy." My name is Zhou Xiaoqing. I'm doctoral candidate at University Malaysia Sabah. My content today include introduction, statement of problem, research objectives, research methodology. Results and discussion and conclusions. The introduction, Darius Song, twenty sixteen, pointed out that historically in China, arts and crafts were prompted as a manifestation of female virtue and have formed part of female household duties. Domestically based cultural production throughout China has served family functional needs such as clothes, shoes, bedding, and other objects with immediate use value. Commercial exchange by the scale of such products, ceremonial purposes, as well as serving purely as decorations. Girls were trained within the family to carry out such production, and this process served as instruction for the feminine role expected of them after marriage. In the global context, there is increasing recognition of the aesthetic and social value of such cultural production that is often carried out by women. This focus on mommy production in the Baisa area of the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region serves as an opportunity to widen the scope of the debate on women's cultural production. It is therefore of interest at local, Chinese, national, and global levels. The cultural inheritance of traditional handicrafts. Can conflict with the need to earn a livelihood in modern society. These are the mommy exhibited in the Baisa cultural heritage inheritance base, founded by Mai Chongfang. A statement of problem. The need for wider debate on relationship between women's cultural production and art. Women's cultural production has been excluded from consideration as art. Understanding the purposes of drawn mommy handicraft product, personal utility, cohesion of drawn identity, family and community relations, income generations. Representation of cultural and spiritual identity, examination of mommy as part of the Zhuang tradition, traditional family handicraft, has been given new life due to governmental encouragement of minority cultures and to the increasing market for products with a traditional theme. Conflict between Commercialization, the reinvigoration of production, and the safeguarding of traditional cultural inheritance. This includes a conflict between traditional methods of production and mass production for modern commercial consumption. The research objectives. I include to consider continuity and change in Zhuang traditional forms of production, and current production methods and processes, to observe similarities and differences between the domestically based cultural production of of the Zhuang and that conducted in China more broadly, based primarily on Han. Chinese traditions, and to examine the significance of mommy cultural products to the local cultural and economy, to provide 
future potential for drunk cultural production historically conducted by women to be placed in the wide debate about the relationship between women's cultural production and art. I use a mixed research method, the mixed qualitative and quantitative. The primary data were gathered through field research in Baisa, including observation and interviews with relevant informants that were recorded using note-taking, voice recording, and photographs. These were complemented and conceptualized through information gathered from secondary source. 33 respondents included 23 apprentices and the masters of three cultural bases, and two museum directors, two subjects from manual workshop, two university department heads, and one government member. And the result and discussion among those interviewed, there was consensus that mommy production skills are inherited from their ancestors who have passed the by drawn ethnic minority culture through the generations. 18% of the oral informant operating in Yujiang district. Yujiang district is the main area of Baisa. Identified the cultural origin of the model. Man embraces boar as signifying the embrace of the sun and a blessing for peace. Mommy hints the social divisions of labor according to strong gender norms. This indicates that in previous generations, such work had been female work within the family. This gender division of labor continues with male involvement in production of mommy seemingly viewed negatively. All sources pointed to the domination over production by females in the family. Among the respondents in the bases and workshops, all the respondents were female except one male whose work was focused on propaganda and management. Twelve of the women interviewed revealed that they had learned mommy making techniques from their mothers. While five of the respondents explained that they were instructed by their grandmothers. One of the respondents was taught by their older sisters. Two of them revealed that they acquired their techniques from female relatives of the claim. Although just under 17 of the informants learned the technique during their adolescent days. They seriously began to make mommy as a career only after they retired, with most age 16 or over. This picture to show the process of producing mommy. The cutting cloth and put the medicine inside and the sewing. And in the use of color, the traditional use of the five colors, red, yellow, green, white, and black, are used to reflect the Wuxing five phrases. And perhaps there is an important connection with the traditional religion, Mojiao, more religion of the Zhuang nationality with its celebration of the sun and aspect of the natural world. And in today's mommy production, the colors are more extensive and the patterns were more diverse. People are the traditional auspicious patterns such as the cloud, songs, the flowers, like here, 
the flowers, and also use the traditional drawn clothes. In recent years, Momi has expanded in use and types of design. People use Momi to make various products such as mobile phone ornamentation, earrings, hairpins, and key rings within which we can see both continuity of tradition as well as adaptation of tradition to more modern decorative and functional purposes. These are some examples of modern design. It's two mommy here and two mommy embrace one ball the ball and change to a basket and uh, the this and this is a clock and this is two mommy embracing mm, the food it's meaning the harvest of the food and this many mommy and means promotion the conclusion the drawn culture of mommy distinct in its nature is consistent with the broad history of female cultural production in China in that it has historically been conducted by girls and women in the family and this gender division of labor continues. This phenomena has some similarity to much of the cultural production that has taken place more widely in China. Such cultural production has multiple aspects purely decorative, functional uses, ceremonial, spiritual, as well being a production process that instructs girls in the feminine role and virtues. Further examination, research and analysis is required of the extent to which it is legitimate for such forms of cultural production that have been largely conducted by female within the family to be excluded from the category of art. In this way, such a small-scale, specific local examination fits into a broader scholarly inquiry into the nature of art and culture, that of the gendered division of labor that is apparent in its production. So that's my presentation. Thanks.